Hey guys, I'm Rayhana and in this video I'm gonna show you how we can use Hilt with Retrofit. Let us start. In two previous video I discussed about a Hilt fundamental and uh, how to use a Hilt in the room database. In this video, I will show you how to use Hilt in a project with Retrofit. So, I strongly recommend it to see uh, two previous video, the first, and then continue watching this uh, video. So, before we had uh, a tutorial about working with Retrofit uh, without dependency injection. Uh, for more information, you can check the link in the description. And now uh, we will work on that project to add dependency injection. So first of all, we should add some uh, dependency plugin and class path in our project. As always, uh, here I have a new project. So first of all, in uh, build gradle module level file here, let me add some class path. Uh, yes here guys and then uh, I should add some plugin so let me here in the build gradle app level file you can add some plugin and also here we have some dependency so please add this dependency here And let me add view binding here. Okay, uh, here our project since uh, successfully. Uh, to having clean code and clean structure in our project uh, first please create uh, this package like me in your project so first of all I want to have uh, the package for my adapter and then for my um, API Yes, and then for my dependence injection. And the other one for my repository. And also I need have another one for my response model. And the other one for my UI. And the last one is about YouTube's. Okay, great. Uh, now I have my all package. So the first thing I should do here, create two fragments. So let me here in my UI package, create two fragments. The first one can be about my movie list, sorry. Yes, now it's right. And the second one for my movie details. So yes let me I uh, clean some code here because we do not need this code here okay also here and let me do it for another fragment as well so far so good uh, the next things that I uh, should to do is about creating a navigation graph. So 
for creating navigation drab uh, right click on the res folder and here new android resource file and here uh, choose a navigation and put your name here uh, for example i choose nav underline main here so okay and here i should add my fragments so here let me add the movies fragment and then movie details fragment so great guys uh, guys here movie details fragment will receive data from movie list so uh, we have to add argument uh, to movie details fragment in the navigation graph please select your uh, second uh, fragment i mean uh, the details movie fragment and here as you can see there is a section related to arguments so here click on plus button here uh, put it the name for example i want to add movie id here and uh, movie id can pass here as a integer Guys, we have a video about how we can pass data between two fragments and on that video I have fully explained uh, everything that you need to know about this section. So I uh, put the link in the description and uh, please uh, if you do not have information about how we can pass the data uh, between some fragments uh, first watch that video and also on that article I mentioned uh, after adding argument in your project please rebuild your project okay here I rebuild my project and also let me add this direction here as well guys in this video I don't want to uh, focus on UI things because uh, this UI exactly the same UI on the retrofit project that we have. Just let me copy and paste the UI uh, code and then I will back. Okay guys, uh, let me show you what exactly I added. Okay, here uh, as you can see, I added a new XML file uh, for each row that I need to show you on cycle review and also add the tree icon and add some color here into my color XML and then add uh, some UI here into my details movie fragment. Let me check th this error. Yes, now the error is gone. And also uh, for another activity XML, I just uh, add the recycler view and the progress bar. And finally, for my main activity, I put just uh, the fragment and put it here, my information about my navigation, as you can see. Okay, guys, let's start to coding uh, with Hilt. So, first of all, I need to have Hilt application class. So, here, right click and Kotlin class file and put the name. For example, I want to put the name like my app. And here, I should extend from application. yes and also the important step that i should do here add annotation hilt android app 
So the next step that I should to do, add this class into my manifest file. So here, put the name, yes, and as you can see, put my app here. And the other things I need to add here, uh, the internet permission. So let me do it. The next step that I should to do, create a class for my constant variable. So let me do it here in the utils package. I want to have it as an object. Okay, great. And inside this object constant class, I want to put this variable. If you saw that video about the retrofit, this variable should be uh, familiar for you. You need to have API key from the DB Movie DB. I put the link in the description. You can first uh, register on the website and then in the settings section, you can find your API key. And here we have our base URL and also here we have the poster base URL. Let's continue. Uh, for this step, I need to create my response. What is response? So here, let me show you. Here uh, we have a document of this API. So here first I want to have a list from the popular movie and then I want to have details of each movie. So first, for having this list, as you can see here, there is some parameters uh, that I need to use, and this one is required. That's me that means you need to have API key. So, and here you can see the response when your response is okay, and in this part you can see other response when uh, you face with the error and also here. So here that we need to collect the response with 200. So let me copy this part. Okay, copy and back into Android Studio and uh, here in the response package, uh, right click and then choose Kotlin data class from JSON. As I said before, this feature comes from the plugin that I installed in my Android Studio. So again, uh, I ask to see the previous video and uh, on that video, I showed you how you can install this plugin. So let me paste this JSON and here put the name from my this class movies list response and click on generate. So here as you can see we have a movies list response. Yes. All the thing that I need to have is here. So great. Let me show you another part that we need to have it in our project. I mean, uh, details of each movie. So here again, you can comes into uh, 200 response and the example section. You can copy all this code and back into Android Studio and create another response file. So here, and put the name, movie details, response. And here, as you can see, I have all the details of each movie. And now I should create API service. So let me do that. In the API package, 
I want to create an interface class for API service. And here I should have two functions for the getting the list of popular movie, then uh, getting details of each movie. So uh, let me explain about this part again. Here we need to define a different method used for network transaction. Retrofit has the following method to fetch and uh, upload the data to the server. Every method must have an HTTP annotation that provides uh, the request method and relative uh, URL. There are eight built-in annotations. Get, post, put, patch, delete, HTTP, option, and head. Uh, and also, the endpoints are defined inside of an interface using retrofit annotation to encode details about the parameters and request method. Uh, let me show you simple sample uh, get request. Here we can use body, we can use um, URL, and also we can use query. And here we can use call or response. Let me show you how we can read a document and uh, figure out what we need in the path, or maybe we need to use other annotation here. So let me show you guys here in the get popular and also here again, you can see the get that means you should use get annotation. If you want to use, uh, for example, delete rating here, you can see you should to use delete annotation also here about rate movie. If you want to add rate into a specific movie, you should to use post annotation. As you can see here, with a small look, you can recognize uh, which annotation you need to use. And about this part, uh, so clear, I need to use get annotation about the path. Here you can see. This is my path. I should use div path and put div path into my get annotation. So let me delete this part and add real method that we need to use. So at get, yes. And here, let me copy this part and paste it here. Yes, good. And create a method why I put the space here. Yes, popular movies list, for example. And here, let me add the page. Just uh, please pay attention. Uh, here uh, you should exactly uh, the word that you saw here. And okay. And as you can see, it's a kind of query. So here, because of that, I put the query here. So page 
as a int. Okay, and then here I want to use call. Yes, this one from the retrofit. And here I should pass my response. So movie list response. Okay, great guys. Here we have done with this part. And uh, let me add another function for getting details of each movie. So again, I need to put get annotation. And here, uh, let me check the get details information. Yes, here is our path I copy and paste it here. Great guys. And get movie details. Okay, great. Here, uh, let me show you something. Here, as you can see, uh, I should put the path parameter inside my get. So here, as you can see, I should set path. Yes, this one. And here, put it exactly this item here and then and then here a movie id as a int so again here i should call movie details response okay this function done as well so the next step I should to do is uh, create API model class and this step guys so much important because I want to create all my dependency in the API module class okay uh, let me here inside the I package create a new Kotlin object file and I put this name it depends on you okay and the first step here I should add a notation about the hilt so first I want to add a module annotation yes guys here and the next module here that I want to use in installing because uh, Hilt will maintain its dependency provided via module as long as the application runs. So let me add in installing and inside this I want to call singleton component. Yes guys, this one. And put class yes great and the main question uh, here that we have is what are my dependency so here I should write my dependencies instead of the API client class when we created our project without Hilt let me create my dependencies here the first one is about provide our base URL. So fun provider. Yeah, provide is better. Uh, base URL. And here I should pass my base URL. Okay, let me import. And here I should add some annotation. Let me use providers 
and also let me use singleton yes the error was gone and why i use singleton guys because singleton annotation uh, tells hilt uh, this function or uh, this provide base url function should be initialized only once let me continue to create other function uh, the next function that i need to have here provide a connection timeout connection timeout yes and here i want to pass uh, let me yes guys let me create uh, a variable for network timeout okay and let me open this constant class and here put this uh, network timeout and copy the name of this variable and back into our api module and put it here and the last step import it okay guys and here again uh, for this new function i want to use providers and uh, singleton as well okay guys let me create another function for this part uh, is about provide json json yes and we can put json builder yes this and here we need to set this method and the last one called create okay for this one as well i want to put both of them here okay great the other uh dependency that i need to have here is about my okay http client let me create the function here fun provide okay http client yes and here if build config yes this one is um, debug need to some step okay wow I want to have this one http login I want to have it and call this variable and set level okay here http login and yes this one that level dot headers and i need the another one for body yes and continue with create another variable request is okay the second one yes yes guys this one and here let me put the name here and then well the URL if chain request that URL that uh, new builder actually also need add a query parameter yes and here i want to pass my api key api underline key and here pass that variable inside my constants class yes this one guys and also the last thing i should call bit 
here I need another variable about request and uh, again chain that request is and here call new builder and call URL with this URL and uh, the last thing is built and the last part I should to do here return um, chain dot proceed with the request variable yes here again I want to use provides and singleton here other things I need to have here okay HTTP client yes this one dot uh, first builder and then I want to add this interceptor so let me add interceptor uh, yes this one for request interceptor and also I need another one for logging yes is okay okay let me check my if body okay here Let's again I can somehow call this part here and also call build okay guys so far so good uh, just let me create last my dependency here about provide the retrofit so okay fun provide retrofit here I should pass some um, parameter for example base URL as a string and then uh, JSON as a JSON okay and here I should pass the client as a okay HTTP client that's correct here the result is from API service that uh, retrofit yes dot builder yes okay and here uh, first of all I need to call base URL and pass this base URL here the next thing I want to call client and pass my client here and the next thing I want to add converter yes this one and here JSON converter uh, factory yes this one that uh, create and inside the create I pass my JSON yes I use all these parameter in here and uh, the last thing here I want to call build and yes this one is the last thing uh, I want to call create and pass the API service as a class here okay so far so good and guys the next step that I need to do create a repository class so okay here in the repository package right click and choose new Kotlin class here pass the name and okay maybe uh, you have a question about why we need uh, this repository because I don't want to use my API service function directly into the code so uh, this repository responsible for providing the information for me and uh, it need to inject API service here into the constructor so 
let me do it inject constructor okay I should pass API service here as you can see yes great and so here I want to add activity scope and here guys why I use activity scope because a scoped object lives as long as its component it can be seen as a singled okay let me complete this part so I want to have uh, two function here the first function is related to uh, getting popular movies list so get yes and uh, here i should put the parameters about the page yes and it's from api let me add some private row here and again yes from get popular movies list yes and pass this parameter here okay and another function get uh, movie details and here I should pass the ID yes and again here call API service that get movie and pass the id here okay guys here our work is done and the next step is about creating adapter for our recycler view let's do it okay uh, let me create a class here into my adapter package i can put here at inject and empty constructor and it's okay so let's to extend this class from recycler view dot adapter and here pass the name dot view holder and let me and also add this one and let me first create inner class yes okay and now I can implement this member okay oh let me move it here okay As I added uh, the view binding into my project so I can use the binding here let me add my view binding so private latinate var binding yes this one and here let me complete this part in inflator yes and uh, layout inflator inflator and uh, from parent dot context okay and here put binding uh, okay item view binding inflate inflator inflator parent and false okay so far so good uh, and also let me add contents here private latin to var yes I want to have it here okay and here parent dot Yes, okay, okay, 
and here I want to return the holder. Here I want to use diff utils. And we have complete tutorial about using diff utils in details, and uh, I will put uh, the link about that tutorial in the description. So let me create a diff util here private val differ call back yes and call object and here call diff utils item callback here and here I can pass my movie list response and actually I want the result yes okay here as you can see I should implement some member so yes I need both of them so here I should return old item dot id equal a new item dot id and also can copy and paste it here without id okay and here i need another variable uh, differ and pass here yes i need this one and here pass these and my differ callback sorry differ yes this one okay so far so good now i can work with the view holder class first of all let me extend this class from recycler view dot view holder and here pass my binding dot root okay great and here i need to create a function like set and here i should pass the item from my movie list response from the result okay here here i want to set that data that comes from the server into my view here as you can see uh, I can set the TV language, I can set the TV movie date release, and also I can set the TV name, TV rate, and also image movie. So let's start with TV name dot the text, and here item dot. original title okay again tv language the text item dot yes this one and the other thing is about the rate that takes item dot yes that to a string and i guess we have another one yes the date release so text dot item dot uh, release yes the first one okay guys the next step uh i should set the poster of the movie into my image a movie so dot load uh, before that let me create a variable for movie poster and here as you can see we have a poster 
base URL so uh, copy the name and back into my adapter item dot let me import this one and here yes this one and I can put it the movie poster here great and I can add some additional feature for example crossfade can be true and also I want to use placeholder and mint set the address or drawable let me first import okay and now I can have access yes poster placeholder and the last thing here want to set about a scale yes and it can be a scale fill yes okay let me check yes tv name tv language tv rotate and also tv um, detail release so yes i put all the things that uh, i need to have into my recycler view let me to complete uh, the part is about movie list fragment Okay, guys, the first thing here, uh, I should add the annotation to Hilt and tells Hilt all these my fragments and also activity. It's my Android entry point. Let me do it for my another fragment and also into my activity as well. Okay back into movie fragment first I want to add my viewbinding here private latinate var binding yes guys this one and copy here and paste it here dot inflate uh, pass light inflator and container and also pass folds here so here binding dot root here I need to have on view created yes this one and also guys uh, here I should inject my dependency so the first one is about uh, my API repository and the second one is about my adapter so call inject here and latinate to where API repository yes and the other one as I told you, is about my adapter. Movie. Yes, guys, this one. Okay. And here, first, when this fragment is run, I want to uh, showing to me a progress bar. So first let me binding here and uh, we need to have progress yes this one progress bar movie and uh, visibility view dot visible here I can use uh, my API repository for uh, sending request to server and fetch the data. So 
okay api repository dot get yes i want to call this method and uh, here put for example i want to get the first page so put one and then i should uh, call in queue and pass here object as a callback yes this one it's the movie list response okay guys uh, as you can see here i should implement some member let me do it uh, we have two methods on response and on failure here i should work with my response sometimes the response is 200 that means okay and i have uh, all the information that i need i get the error i should handle all the situation in this method and uh, also in the on failure method i should handle uh, some situation that totally I cannot send the request into server here I need a then a structure when response that code okay uh, there is the several range of response but as uh, we can see in the document we need just uh, to have these three response 200 401 and 404 so handle this situation also here you can handle other situation and also here can handle others when our response code is 200 that means uh, everything is okay and I can get the response body so here response that body that let Okay, guys, um, here, as you can see, I used the result. Why? Because when we got the response from the server about the movie uh, list, all the list is here in the result variable. So here, if uh, the result body is not empty, that means I have all the information that we need. So okay, and here I can uh, call my movie adapter and uh, pass and submit my list here. it body that result okay it's good and also here i should attach this adapter into my recycler wheel so yes this one that apply the first thing that i should to do here create a um, load manager so load manager linear layout manager yes and inside pass the require context okay good and in terms of adapter i should pass a movie adapter here here guys our work is done with the recycler view and with the response 
so here we can put some toast if there is a error paper contacts and all so let me copy and paste for this part and here we can see the exact error yes here for for this error okay for this one and also for this error it can copy and paste it here okay all the thing is good and for this part let me oh i forgot something here when you in the on response you can go on your uh, progress bar and also i want gone this view here also here i can show um, toast i can put just on failure i just want to put on failure message okay i guess all the thing here is done with this fragment let me run our application and see it's work or not okay guys here uh we have got the message because i forgot the uh the complete this method so let me do it okay here just need to pass our differ current list size so differ dot current list dot size guys and here there is another method that i forgot to complete so here i need just pass holder that set and here call my differ current list and position yes and also can pass holder that set is recycler and put it false here so let's run again okay guys and here as you can see we have the first page of popular list the movie so and the last things that i need to add into this project uh, is clicking on each item and go to another fragment to sync uh, details of each movie so for that and the first thing i need to set set and click listener on adapter for each item and pass the movie id into the details fragment and then call uh, or maybe it's better to say send another request to server with the movie id and get the response of detail of that movie and show in our application so let's do it okay for that here uh, after our view holder class i need to uh, create a variable and function for set on item click listener to implement set on item click listener okay the first private val on item click listener okay good and here past the movie list response dot result and here as a unit okay okay and 
create a metal set on set on item click okay i think here i forgot to put the e yes and here i have a listener and that's come from the movie dot result and should be as a unit yes and uh, here i should call this uh, variable here and pass listener okay here inside the binding apply body i should call root dot set and click listener and call my on click listener dot let and then here eat and then pass item and here for fix this uh, error just we can put question mark here so far so good okay guys uh, here i guess her work is done i guess no because we have an error here oh here why because here i put it the val if i'm not mistaken yes i need to change it to var so all the things uh, here is good um, and the last thing uh, i need to add is here after this part i should insert some code i should call my set item click listener so let me do it movie adapter dot set yes this one set an item click listener and inside this uh, method i should call my direction and from the navigation uh, graph now direction movies fragments i'm looking for uh, a map i'm looking for with yes this one that's action and here i should uh, the parameter that want to send into movie details fragment and as you know i want to pass here the id so it dot id of the movie why i got the error okay just need at this and for the last step here i just call uh, find nav controller and dot navigate and pass my direction here so when i click on each item with this part of code pass the movie id and then go to movie details fragment let me go to movie details fragment okay the first thing i need to add here is rebinding so private latinate var binding oh sorry this one is wrong fragment this one is correct yes and then add this one here inflate and here pass load inflator pass container and pass false and here actually need to pass binding dot root and also let me call on view created function here okay uh, the other things that i need here the first thing is about inject my api repository so let me 
do it inject latinate val api repository yes and here i need another variable for getting um the movie id that come from another fragment so private val args and it should be as a movie details fragment args yes and by nav args yes okay here let me create another variable and put uh, my movie id here inside this variable and now i can call my api with this id and fetch detail of each movie first binding dot apply and uh, i guess here i have progress bar dot visibility and view dot invisible and then here i can call my api with api repository dot get movie details and here i should pass this id id okay then yes and inside this i should create object callback with my response model movie detail response yes guys this one and okay here as you can see i should implement two members so let me do it okay uh as i said before the first one for a handle my response and the second one is about when i faced uh error or uh, for any reason i couldn't send a request to api uh, first of all let me again uh, the api that you mentioned for get details and see uh, what response is there and same as uh, another api request 200 when we can get response uh, 401 uh, when we have invalid api key and 404 uh, when the resource could not be found so totally the same and uh, again here let me first let me go on this progress bar yes and then when response code is okay and the other one the response code when is 401 and the other one when is 404 okay just let me copy and paste uh, that code here uh, just let me i'm not sure about uh, this response code so get popular movie yes it's the same and i was wrong here yes and this one is for okay and here this one for uh, this error code and here for this error code and also I can copy and paste this part of code because totally same here sorry yes uh, when 
my response code is 200 that means uh, I can get all the information that I need and set that information into my view so here I should work with response body response dot body dot net okay so far so good uh, the first thing I need to create a movie poster so like this yes let me copy and paste it here but here it can be it okay good and here I have uh, some view uh, actually some text view for showing my information okay TV budget dot text dot it dot budget yes dot to a string okay the other one is about TV overview dot takes it that other view yeah and the other one can be TV data release text dot it dot release date another one TV rating that takes it dot to a string okay great the other one is about TV revenue dot text and it dot revenue yes and also this one should convert to a string okay and also TV movie one time dot takes it does it dot runtime yes and I guess if you have a TV name movie name and TV tagline okay let's mean at this one yes a movie title and tagline that is it that tagline yeah and also the last one is about title it that original title or here we can pass just title okay and also in this uh, fragment I have a two image so yes uh, the first one is about uh, image a movie and the second one is about image a movie back so image movie dot load here I can pass a movie poster and inside this I can set some feature so for example crossfade can be true place whole or picture or dot drawable dot let me import this one yes that uh, my poster placeholder and actually the other one is about scale I want to use a fill one okay and the last thing I should to do here set the image for the image back okay dot load 
and pass movie cursor here. And I can copy and paste this part of code and paste it here. So, so far, so good. I guess we can run again our application and see the result of our code. Okay, uh, the data is fetched for my list view and now uh, I want to click, for example, on this item and see the details of this movie. Okay, here everything is work well and uh, the image for the poster, the image for the background, uh, the movie title, the movie tagline, overview and other information uh, that I have set here. Our video here is done. If you have any question, please don't hesitate. Ask me in the comment section. And if you need a specific topic for learning, uh, please let me know. I will create a video for that. And if you are new in this channel, please subscribe my channel and like my video. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.